Bring on fall flavors. It's the time of year where we indulge a little, but that's no reason to totally skip the veggies. All right, we were going to welcome Ashley Johnson and Alyssa Wersch. They're two of the people behind UF IFAS's Jack's Living Well initiative, and we're going to make a savory stuffed squash. But first, let's talk about your roles with the University of Florida. First of all, welcome back to the show. It's yeah, always good to see thank you. Thank you for having us. We love being here. I always so learn fun. so much from you. So tell us about uh, at University of Florida. How has that helped you? So I am in charge of Jack's Living Well, essentially. That's all of my programs, mm -hmm. but I am an extension agent for the right. University of Florida. Okay. Focus on healthy lifestyle. So your diet, exercise, make sure you have that movement and the balance when it comes to mindfulness. Very good. And Alyssa, tell us more about yourself. Yeah, so I was an intern with Ashley over the summer, mm -hmm. and I graduated with my Master of Public Health degree, and then I love working with Ashley so much that I still um, am around and I volunteer for her. She can't get rid of me just yet. I so. so I see. Yeah, when you have a good <laughs> mentor means all the difference so that's how you got involved with Jack's Living Well? Yes. Okay perfect. Tell us a little bit more about Jack's Living Well. So basically we do a lot of online programming uh -huh. and so it, we want to really meet people where they are at UF IFAS and so a lot of people prefer that online method of education. Mm -hmm. So we try to put you know, recipes on TikTok, we do Instagram, we do Facebook posting and there's programs you can participate in formally and not so formally but it's all for the greater good and to help you live healthier and make it easier. Very good. Healthier and easier. In my house we need to make it a little easier. I said one of the most stressful questions from our daughter sometimes is what's for dinner? And they they want something new and yeah. sometimes it's hard but today I think we have found just the recipe and I think I'm gonna try this. It, it smells and looks so good so what are we yeah, making? Yeah I'm really excited. So this is a savory stuffed squash and what we're using today is this acorn squash here. Oh wow this is a, it, okay I've never yeah. I have to admit I, I didn't even know what this was. Well and I okay. went to the grocery store and the cashier <laughs> didn't know what it was either. <laughs> so a lot of people think it's for decoration. It looks like a gourd. It is uh -huh. a squash. Super flavorful and easy to cook. Okay and so I see you gutted one of these? Yes so I went ahead and roasted this Roast. face side down and with a little bit of olive oil and I scooped out most of the inside. Okay. The really cool thing about this recipe is that you use that inside instead of discarding it mm -hmm. and you mix it into your filling here. That is perfect. Yes. Okay, so where do we begin? So I want to explain the filling a little bit. That's yeah. going to be some sauteed ground turkey with a little bit of olive oil. Yes. And then you're going to cut up some honey crisp apples or whichever apple might be in mm -hmm. season. You always want to try to get in season and Florida produce if you can because the nutrients is better that okay. way. And you save a little bit of money too. And then of course we have our baby Bella mushroom mushrooms that are chopped I up, see that. stirred up in there, and then chicken stock as well. Okay. And that's cooked up really good. Very good. So uh, then once this is done, uh, and once this is done, if you want to go ahead and just scoop the filling into the center of absolutely. the acorn squash. Um, boy, this reminds me, this is like the comfort food, but all the good stuff in it. Yeah, so there can it really be comfort is. food and that is healthy. It's very healthy. It's very, very uh, fulfilling, too. Okay, so I got that part in there. Yes, so this is going to be roasted. This is cooked, and then we mm. want to top it off. I used Monterey Jack cheese. You can use whatever kind of cheese you prefer. This I melts love really cheese. nice. I love Yeah, Monterey Jack will do it. Yes. Um, wow. Okay. And Notice so, how I just used every bit of cheese. That's oh the way yeah, I, roll. I, I measured it out for you, so you're good to go. Okay. And so what you do after this point, we just pop it into the broiler. It goes in for two minutes, and then okay. it comes out nice and uh, bubbly, which All is right. how we want so it. So I'm gonna put this here in the oven. Walk over here. Put it right. Oh, and I left out the rosemary. There's also rosemary in that stuffing, which makes it very fragrant. So right here. We're actually gonna use that when it's done for when the garnish. Done. Okay. But it is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> But it you know how I much garnish. Okay. <laughs> you love you some garnish. But it is um, chopped up finely and put into the recipe as well. So it's been cooked up with those mushrooms and all that good fragrance. Got stuff. it. So very good. This is just my, I told you, it reminds me a little of a shepherd's pie that I have on cold yeah. days. Yeah. Uh, and so it's, it's really this will be something I think that will really catch on. Yeah. And something easy to make, as you said, and healthy at the same time. Exactly. Thank you again. And of course, for much more on this and all these yummy recipes, go to firstcoastliving.net.